I mean, come on. You're, we're playing a deck like this. We just need to go big, go home, and we're not going home. We're going big. Hey everyone, Callie here, and today I've got a deck that no lifeguard can stop because you'll be able to swim freely. Okay, sorry. No, no more bad jokes. But today we've got a dugong deck. And uh, Dugong, we're going to be taking advantage of this Swim Freely ability that it's got, which in and of itself is not interesting. You know, we don't really care about, you know, the effect here where you flip a coin and then you can't be damaged from attacks if you get heads. Really what we care about is the fact that it's got that at all, because that allows us to use this Finneon. Finneon's got the Oceanic Accompaniment ability, which allows you as often as you like during your turn, you may attach a Water Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon that has the Swim Freely attack. And then why do we care about that on Dugong? Well, it's got this Flow Return, which does 40 damage times the number of Water Energies that you shuffle back into your deck um, from your Pokemon. So you can do a lot of damage if you're able to equip a ton of energy. So this is not a great deck. This is just a fun meme deck. When you can manage to get off, pretty much the whole thing is just built around getting Finneons down, uh, finding energy that you need, and then equipping a ton and just knocking out your opponent's Pokemon, and then just repeating it over again. Everything else is just all about stalling for that. So we've got Beaverails to help us find cards, Formidize, uh, Snorlax to help us find cards, obviously going to grab Buckets, um, you know, get the balls in the deck to make sure that we can find the Pokemon when we need it. Lady is another great way to find energy cards when we need them. You know, Arita obviously works well in this deck. Not a lot going on here. Again, not a good deck, really, but can be a fun deck when you can get it to go off. So let's see if we can get this deck to go off today and jump into a few games. But before we do that, I do want to ask everybody, if you can, if you like the video, go ahead and be sure to like and subscribe as well. I typically do content most every single day. Usually um, deck showcases these days, though I also do open product when there's new stuff coming out as well. Uh, you'll also find a lot of good One Piece TCG stuff coming up too, doing a little bit of Pokemon video games. So if you like Pokemon, you like card games, you're probably going to like my stuff. So again, uh, stick around and keep watching the content. Now let's get into the game. Don't know how many games we're going to win with this deck, but we're going to hopefully have a fun time with it. Let's get down a Baidoof. Maybe should have gone with the seal first. So we've got, we've got a pretty good opening hand. Looks like we've got a Calyrax deck. Probably going to find a Palkia as well. Those typically go together, it seems like. We're going to try to get some big damage on these Ice Riders. So with level balls, I think we're going to go find another Baidoof. Your read is a really good draw there. So we're going to get, let's see, yeah, we'll get another Baidoof. I want to get a Finneon down, so we're going to grab one of those as well. Almost it's like, do I want to grab another Baidoof or do I want to grab a seal here? Um, I feel like another Baidoof's maybe a little greedy, though we're probably gonna get our current one knocked out. Yeah, I think we want another seal here. Because we'll grab a Finneon with the Arita. So we'll grab Finneon. I guess we could have grabbed a battle VIP pass. I didn't think about that. And then I think I want to scoop here to protect our buy barrel. We'll bring him back. We'll put a seal into play. We are going to equip an energy. Uh, and let's just sit on our hand. We don't want to make our, Mar our uh, opponent want to Marnie us here. I'm thinking, you know, I might just uh, stupidly throw away two energy with an Ultra Ball to go find a Buy Barrel. Okay. 
All right. So our opponent's going to do Inteleon stuff. Going to find probably everything that they possibly want. This might be might be a challenge for us. Once it evolves, we are going to need to find, I think, 8 energy to be able to kill uh, the Calyrex. I think it's, what, 320, right? Okay, so it does evolve. We figured this was going to happen. Alright, so he goes up, knocks out the seal. We're not worried about it. I do wish I had a Snorlax in this situation. So I'd like to stall out a little bit more with the Snorlax, give us some time to find the pieces we need. So our opponent gets a bucket. Plays a bucket. Gets some energy. Sorry, this is a very intense match, so uh, having a hard time looking away or really more honestly staying awake with this matchup this guy's just playing really slow all right come on friend next turn our our play is pretty obvious we're gonna bucket get to energy we're gonna hopefully find a good top deck here because this is looking uh Kind of iffy for us. Uh-oh. Alright, let's grab some more energy. We'll throw away some energy. Get a bye barrel. Alright, bye barrel. Don't let me down. We're gonna equip an energy. And maximize the card draw we're getting. Alright, so we get a dugong. It's not amazing because we're going to have a hard time uh, finding everything we need. We might need to rely on Swim Freely. Uh, I do want to shuffle, I think, that seal back into the deck as well as the energies. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to save the bucket for the moment. We're just going to swim freely and hope that we don't die. No! Oh, did I lose internet? Well, it's saying I lost internet, but my opponent's doing stuff, so I don't know what's going on. Alright, so our opponent can't do math. Our opponent can't do math, that's good. So if we double bucket, more buckets, and then we're going to equip energies. Get four, five, six. It's not quite enough. Okay, so we're going to incisors. All right. Um, Evolution incense lets us find another buy barrel. So that's good. We've got a chance. We're going to get another seal. We'll bench that. That way we maximize our incisors again. Please, two energy. Please, two energy. All right, okay. Do we get to go find the bucket? All right, so we grab a bucket. So we do have more energy, right? Yep. And we don't need a dugong. Um, let's grab a backup Finneon just in case. All right, we grab two more energy. And we swim freely. Or use this ability. 
and then this should be enough. All right, let's see if we can do math. Boom, okay. We hit our opponent. Now, the question is, how do we do that again? I guess we're going to have to go find some ladies. Thankfully, our opponent could not do math. And uh, we can. All right, so how do we thin down the hand to get some incisors going? We got some quick balls, some ultra balls. We can evolve, so I think we're doing good. I don't really care if this dugong gets knocked out. Honestly, if we get Marnied by our opponent, I kind of feel like that's good for us. Okay, so he does get the quick shooting. It's going to allow him to snipe us down. Again, we don't care. We don't care. In fact, that might allow us to thin down the hand even more. So we're going to go up with our seal. We're not really worried about getting knocked out. He's got no way to charge this up. Not going to surprise us with a Palkia or something now. Opponent's digging. He wants to find some stuff. So it looks like he is charging that up. Looking to snipe off our stuff. Luckily, we have the backup Finneon. So we're not going to bench that. We're not going to throw it away either. But he's definitely looking to be able to snipe those down. It's a smart play. Not going to lie. So he does have Palkius. Come on. Our opponent's thinking real hard about everything. Come on, friend. Just just let us win. Just let us win with the Dugong deck. We got your Ice Rider. You made a mistake. Just live with it. So I think um, I am tempted to find another seal here. You know, that does, I guess that does open up two targets, though, with this Greninja. So I, I don't want to bench another another Pokemon right now and give him two prizes. That does make things a little bit more challenging for us. So we will definitely go into a Dugong. Evolve into Bi Barrel. I feel like I want to leave this bench spot open. So we're going to use that to equip. Uh, we're going to quick ball away the Snorlax. And I do want a seal in my hand, just so I have it. Uh, I, honestly, I kind of feel like now I do need to throw it away. Looks like one of our other ones is prized, which is definitely a little bit of a problem. But again, we don't want to give another seal target, which is all it's going to be if we put this down. We do need the Finneon. I think we've got more Ordinary Rods, so I think what we're going to do here, because we need to try to find a little bit more energy, like a lady or something. I don't want to lose these two, so we're going to Ultra Ball. And we're just going to fail it. That way we can use the incisors. Okay, the Arita. It's not exactly what we want. So we'll equip that energy. I think I'm just going to use this again and fail it. I'm really just looking for another lady. So I, I want to knock out this Sobble. Get one more prize. That way we're kind of hoping for... Um, 
the kind of Palkia nonsense. All right, we're going to save the uh, Ordinary Rod. With a bunch of energy. Okay, we only need to discard two. We are going to see one more card. All right. Yeah, let's just knock out the Sabo. You have to discard two. It doesn't feel great. But I kind of want to force him to do something with the Palkia. The problem is, since we didn't get to put down a seal, I'm kind of hoping he goes up with the Greninja. So it would make a lot more sense for him to just go up the Palkia. He almost sure, certainly has the Palkia V-Star. So maybe that was a mistake. It would have just been easy for him to retreat the Sabo. I don't really know what else we could do in that situation. Yeah, and hopefully he comes up with Greninja, and he really wants to snipe off his Finneon. Maybe we should have given him two targets. I don't know. All right, well, now he's definitely got the V-Star for sure. So we can charge up whatever he wants. And I'm hoping that he comes up and kills my Finneon, thinking like, Aha! Now I've got you. That would be really good for us. Because if he comes up with the with the Palkia and just kills our Dugong, I think we just have lost. Okay, I didn't expect him to do that. I guess that's pretty good too, actually. So we may have just lost. We'll play it out. Our opponent did it well. He made the one mistake, didn't want to make it again. Yeah. So I think we might just be dead here. I'm not really sure what we could have done, because he could have just come up with the Greninja. Gotten us down. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he just comes up with the Greninja. Snipes off these two. We'd have to be able to get two seals down. Hmm. But we'd still need to find a way to be able to get an attack off this turn and actually kill something, which we can't do that. But it is our only way to maybe win. So we'll try it. Uh... Yeah, we'll shuffle those back in. Get some energies back in. Then we'll quick ball away this. Again, get another seal down. We'll use Arita. I guess that will give us two cards. So we're going to incisors first. All right. Grab a dugong. Hmm. Does scoop up not actually? Does this give us some out? Maybe. No, I guess it doesn't. Not unless we could have gotten a third seal down. All right. Well, we'll just give him. Some juicy looking targets. Uh, and we'll just hope our opponent makes a mistake. Don't really know what else we do. Basically, he kills this, puts a little bit more damage down. Or he comes with the Greninja. Snipes off two targets. Well, if he does that, then I guess we just lost.
And we're just kind of in a situation where, like, I don't see a way that we win. So we go up with the seal. Unfortunately, now, if we do put down the Finneon, we give him the two prizes he needs, but we can't not put down the Finneon. Let's put it out of range, actually. Uh, man, we are going to have to, like, put it down. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to put it down. I'm going to hold off on use the Arita because we need to be able to kill this thing. So we're really looking for a lady because I think we're out of buckets. All right, there's a lady. Okay, so we're going to patch some energies. You know what? We're not going to think so hard. We're just going to attach everything here. And uh, if I can do basic math, we need to get rid of four. We're going to use a level ball. Obviously, there's nothing. So we're going to incisors. Okay. So we'll level ball again. We're going to equip an energy there. We only have three cards left, so we don't want to draw anymore. Okay. We'll do one, two, three, four. Four times four is 16, right? Okay, all right. Basic math. Oh. Okay, he, he does just have two kills, though. I mean, he just quick shootings and does things, but we tried. We tried our best. Maybe he doesn't see it. He did fail once more at math. Okay, no. He sees it. All right. Wasn't really much that we could do in that situation. We tried our best. GG's. We don't get the win there, but we'll jump into another one and try again. Well, from the mulligan, it looks like we're playing a Leafeon deck. We've got a pretty good opener. Oh, wow, that's a really cool open Leafeon. Definitely kind of excited to see a Leafeon. Haven't really played, I don't think, that ever before. So I don't know what to expect. You know, they got the Radiant Venusaur. What the heck does that do? No retreat cost and no weakness. Okay. Fair enough. So I guess we are playing like a grass deck. He's going to buff stuff up with his uh, Krikatoon. All our opponents are playing very slow tonight. Okay, you got two cards. How, how tough is this decision? <laughs> dum -de dum So we'll have to keep that in mind whenever we're, um, whenever we're playing stuff, just to make sure that we are accounting for that extra HP. Okay. Oh, the buy deep was good, so we'll a VIP pass. Um, we're gonna get another seal and another buy We definitely want two of those. We need a spot for a Finneon. 
So it's like the question is, do we want one more, one more Baidu, or do we want a Snorlax? We don't have any way to bring the Snorlax into the active, but we might after uh, after he kills our seal here. So maybe we even want another seal. Yeah. Another seal down. And uh, put the Benny on down. Fortunately, that's all that we can do. Unfortunately, that's all that we can do. So everything's got 40 more HP. That means we need to take one more energy than we think we're going to to be able to knock anything out. Question is, there a, does our opponent have a way to knock out our seal? If they did, we're set up for more for more seals. I don't want to get in a situation like I did in, in the first game where I didn't have um, a seal to be able to evolve. So I got that situation where I couldn't put down one. Otherwise, he took two easy prizes. Probably not going to run into that against this deck because it looks like they're just a pure grass deck. So no Greninja shenanigans, but I don't really honestly know what any of these cards do. So I don't know what to expect. Okay, so the Rita was good for us there. So I think we can Arita. Uh If we knock out the Krigatoon now... That'll probably be good for us. So I'm going to get a bucket. Okay, so we've got our bucket. I kind of honestly want to throw one of them away to be able to get another buy barrel. That will allow us to see even more cards. Hopefully make it more likely for us to actually be able to KO this thing. So we'll equip our energy, get a maximum incisors. All right. Don't get much there. But we do have a way to thin the hand a little bit more. Unfortunately, it's not in a way that we really want to. Feels bad, but we're going to do this. I don't feel like we can be going slow here. All right, so let's see here. Um, except for the Krikatoon. So we only need to do three energies to be able to take it out. All right, good. So we find another energy. And this allows us to put uh, an energy on one of our other ones. Oh, nice. I didn't realize that we can do it from anywhere. We do just need three, right? Yeah? Except for Krikatoon? Okay. All right, definitely good for us that they don't have that. Ooh, nice. We got a bucket. Definitely should be looking to see if we have buckets. Because we need to be able to find eight energy. Uh, we've got, was this six? Yeah, we got six energy. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Okay. Ordinary Rod lets us get one more back in the deck, which I feel like we kind of do want. Uh, let's do both. We need to get this back in the deck. We're going to get this back in the deck. That way, if we lose our Finneon, we still have another one that we can go find. Okay, so we're going to Bucket. And we're going to Lady. Still not enough. We need to find one more. But we've got plenty... Plenty of ways to do that. All 
Alright, so we'll incisors. We use find an energy. Alright, so we don't find an energy. Uh, we're gonna have to put down this. And I feel like we need to ordinary rod to try to find more energies, because we gotta knock this thing out. I mean, I guess we don't have to. But we really want to. I really want to. Please? Yes! I mean, come on. You're, we're playing a deck like this. We just need to go big. Or go home. And we're not going home. We're going big. We go for the knockout. All you've got is the Venusaur. What are you going to do? Okay, we even have the Lady. So this is great. We're going to get more energy. Gotta take out this Venusaur. And then we just need to take out one more Pokemon. I feel like him equipping the energy there. Uh, that's a good sign for us. He's wanting to thin out his hand to try to draw more cards. I feel like it's all he's going for. Oh my god, did we just win? Okay, so we use Lady. We get four energy. Four energy is enough, right? Yeah, four energy is enough. Four times four. Sixteen. Thank you. You've got a good deck. Alright, so we're gonna hope that math doesn't fail so we don't look like idiots. Boom! Alright, we got him. Very nice. Alright, so we get a win with the Dugong. So, I think that's gonna do it for this one. This was, uh, again, probably not a good deck, but definitely a fun deck. One I could definitely recommend if you're wanting to just kind of have a little bit of fun with a different kind of Pokemon. It's certainly an interesting way to play, you know, really power that up. Figure out ways you can, uh, Get more energy on there and just do big damage. It's always kind of fun to knock out, you know, a big VMAX Pokemon with just your little Dugong. But yeah, you know, definitely one to play if you really want to just do something kind of fun, something silly. So if you did like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well, and I'll see you in the next one.